Thank you for coming back to the, another episode of the Tony Montana channel. I was, uh, I have been uh, busy. I apologize. I, as I said in my other video, I've been doing a lot of life work and um, life stuff. And at the same time, I've been uh, catching up with the other channels and I actually got, and I'm dealing with the um, comment of my channel and I realized that you know, we are not, even though we are a community, everyone is not like you. You know, everyone's not like you or me. And so there's so many personalities here. If we want to call that everybody is part of the uh, APBT community. Um, incredibly so, I've uh, had to deal with individuals that, you know, have too much not enough time to do their own videos, but uh, enough time to criticize what I do in my channel. Then you have other people that, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess, make videos of, of you or me rather, and just uh, uh, make accusations of uh, me being a racist or this and that. I guess that's the only thing they can say so they, they, they look for uh, the smallest thing just to make sure that I uh, that I sound or look bad. You know, I'm going to address the, the part about me being a racist. And the examples he gave, I could actually uh, report the video at, and say, hey, you know, you're using, basically take it down. But I, I'm not that type of person. I'm, I'm not looking to, uh, you know. It was more comical than anything else, you know. Basically, this uh, video about me calling me racist, uh, basically, was because of uh, my uh, one time I was um, telling you guys that I grew up in the ghetto, but I don't speak the slang. I don't speak. Uh, I do speak the slang, but I don't speak the slang personally. But I understand it. Because I grew up in, you know, I grew up in it. Why, you know, that, why do I not speak it? Hmm. Well, you have to understand my background. Before I came to the United States, obviously when I came to the United States, I didn't speak the language. I didn't speak English. So eventually I gradually learned the language. And obviously uh, there were some uh, uh, mispronunciations or broken down English, then it got better and better and better until I got to the point that I am now. Uh, but uh, I always knew that there was people, there were people looking down at me because uh, of how I spoke the language. Okay. And prior to that, when I was in my country, I actually had speech problems. I, had, I stuttered. I still stutter sometimes, but I've gotten a lot better. I've always tried to be a, uh, improve my difficulties, my flaws, and that was, and that continues to be one of my issues. So um, I'm actually using uh, YouTube videos um, to actually work on that. So that, that is another motivator that I've had for making videos and audios. But it's, but this guy coming came here and saying because I don't want to speak the uh the lang the slang he actually call it ebonics it doesn't have to be ebonics it, it is just the way um people from different areas speak you know but the guy wanted to make it look bad so he said oh i'm i'm i discriminate against black people you know not knowing that in my in my family i got people that are dark 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 to people that are blonde and blue eyes. We were like an array of colors. But, you know, like I said, not everyone is like us. And uh, every, some people here are, are probably, the people that do this type of thing, they're probably teenagers that really never had a real dog, don't have, don't understand the breed. They just, uh, they're just following, you know, they're just following uh, some person that, has stories or you know made up stories and they one day they want to get one of those dogs and that dream is what they're uh defending you know that when i talk a bit about 
this or that person, or I critique something that happened, they feel offended because they feel like I'm destroying their dream of getting that dog, you know. And, and all I'm doing is trying to prevent other people from making mistakes I made. You know, hey, I, if there's a pit in front of you and I know it, I'm saying, hey, stop. There's a, there's a hole there. You're going to fall. But they're getting mad because they're looking ahead and they, they think that, you know, that bait that's on hanging, he, they could get it. But no, that's the bait that's going to make them fall into the pit. But, um, you know, I, I, again, that's the reason why I'm not even going to report the video of, that I'm there and this and that. It, it is just silly. You know, when I critique uh, uh, people that buy Chico Lopez dogs, I basically uh, I do it because I, I feel sorry for them. It's not that I'm picking on them. Uh, I, I, you know, it is funny when uh, that people are saying, uh, I, 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 I was thinking either picking Chico Lopez dog or, or a British Bulldog or, or, or a French Poodle or whatever. You know, what a comparison. That is the funny part. I'm not making fun of the buyer or the customer. I'm making fun that what that, that person said. You know, it has nothing to do with the skin color. It has nothing to do with it. But a person is looking to make a, an issue. Well, you know, that, that's, that's a weak move. That's, a, that, that's someone weak makes those type of moves and again the weak person made a video about it but anyway i i definitely understand when people have uh nothing to make now that nothing productive to give their community so they become uh, gossipers you know they like to gossip so you have to be careful you as an individual have to you know try to understand who you are in this community and identify others for who they are, you know, so. Now, I also have to think about uh, another thing that I thought about it is, you know, as, as a community, we should have to, we should be doing this, okay? Do the next man like you would let, want the next man to do unto you, okay? And that is in all, in all the things you do with other people all the uh, agreements, all the things that, um, you know, if they come to you, they come visit you, you know, don't, don't be, you know, be appreciative, be the person, you make, try to help them out, you know, we are a small community, sometimes we're like, you know, combative, sometimes we like, you know, we like to compete against each other, you know, but that doesn't mean that we have to be enemies. Doesn't mean that we have to treat ourselves uh, 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 or, or look for a, an up. Be, let's be fair, you know. And, and yes, you can't you can't know what the other person is doing, but be you, you know. Don't act upon another person thinking they're acting wrong against you. Act upon them the correct way, the way you would like them. To to act if they were in your condition, as if you were visiting them, for example. If they're going to visit you, you know, if they're, you know, you guys had, then you do, you do, do him right, do them right. If, if you can host, perfect. If not, fine, you know, make sure that everything is nothing up and they, they go home regardless of what happens. They go home thinking, my God, this guy is a gentleman and a scholar. This guy, I would like to come back one way or another, or would like to invite him to my to my area and treat him the same, or try him, try to be, be better. Uh, isn't that even better than just being, you know, uh, you know, making difficulties for the other person, obstacles? No, man. Remember, be about the breed first. Be about at the be the be the breed. Enjoy the breed. You know, and that part of the breed is, is dealing with individuals inside the breed. Push uh, aside the people that are no good for the breed, that are, are, you know, that don't treat the animals right, the dogs right. We have to respect the animals, you know. And we also, and this is another point to my, my, my 
to my voice uh, episode is that you have to learn your lessons and keep it moving. Don't dwell, okay? Don't dwell on 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 things that you know. If you had a if you had a bad experience out there, you know, learn. Okay, this is what happened. Negative, uh, and keep it going. Don't just be upset, vile, or, or be vengeful. If 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 someone you know betrayed you, for example, or someone did, didn't do the thing they were supposed to do, you know, just learn from that. Or if something happened, you know, in, in an event, and and, and you think about it. Now you now you learn, and now you can. Uh, be prepared next time, you know, whatever that may be. So learn your lessons and keep it moving. Very important, you know, and, but anyway, let me, I have to keep on working. I just wanted to make sure I could put some content in my channel and uh, just some thoughts that I have on the community and basically life in, in general. This is Tony Montana, until next time.